Hi, and welcome to Memo's Tech Tips. Today I'm re I'm unboxing the Cisco RV325 Dual Gigabit WAM VPN router. Uh, I have a lot of things to unbox today because I got a big shipment in. I'm not home, as you can tell from my previous videos. I'm at my client's office. It's 2.50 a.m. And uh, so, yeah, I ordered... VPNs, I ordered NASs, I ordered hard drives for them, I ordered uh, some scanners, I ordered a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna do some some quick unboxings, and let's 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 get on with the show. So this is a dual VPN, dual WAM VPN router. So you know why do I need a dual WAM? And that's because VPNs take a lot of bandwidth. Okay, so. The current VPN that I have is a Netgear. Um, I forgot the model, but it's a Netgear. The problem with that one is the maximum. You, what you got to remember about VPNs is that they have they have a VPN to VPN, so hardware to hardware, which is IPsec, or they have um, they have the what is the tunneling called the protocol. SSL VPN, which is like through a um, through like a, a, a program client, right? So like, let's say if I have it on a laptop, you have that program and you can connect anywhere in the world. All you have to do is use the program, uh, but the the speed won't be as good. I think the speed is like for the for the SSL VPN, it's twenty megabits per second for the IPsec VPN is 100 megabits per second, okay? So if you don't know what a VPN is, it's a virtual private network, okay? So it basically makes a tunnel, a private tunnel, secure tunnel. So I believe a tunnel is through a wire uh, and um, or you're going through a tunnel driving. So what you're trying to do is create a secure tunnel between two points, okay? So no, nobody can read the information and the information in there is encrypted. Um, it's encrypted using, uh, let's see which one this one uses, but it's probably the latest encryption. Um, DES, uh, triple data encryption standard, 3DES and advanced encryption standard. A AES and then we got AES twenty one twenty eight AES one ninety two and AES two fifty six bit. So we can use any of those standards to encrypt our data, and of course encryption is important because you don't want nobody reading your information. So the reason I need a dual WAM is because um, the max that the ISP provides is I know this is a bunch. This cable is actually organized compared to what it was when I got here. So, and it's going to be more organized once I try to finish this VPN. Um, the max that it gives me is 100 down and 35 up. If I remember correctly, 35 up. The, or 40 up. I want to say 40 up. I think it's 40 up. Um, the... Old VPN, the max, the max uh, I, I, IPS throughput was 30 megabits. So I wasn't getting the even my full potential out of my modem. Um, so the, the, the program was running. As soon as I connected the VPNs, the, the information traveling through the VPN, it was still too slow. It was better than what it before I installed this one, but it's still not enough to run the office the way it's supposed to be. Um, you're never going to get full speed, like the full, like if the server was actually in the office. Um, so we're going to, so I put dual, two modems now in here. So now I'm getting 100 over 40 on one and I want to say 75 over 30 on the other. So theoretically I should be getting 80 up. Okay. And the dual WAM is going to help me with that. So I connect the dual WAMs on them and 
I do a low balancing or, or, or aggregate aggregation and it will aggregate that speed for me. Okay, so let's do the unboxing because that's what we're here for. So here's the packaging. Okay, not bad. We got some foam over here protecting the uh, the router. Okay, and we're going with Cisco because Cisco is, uh, you know, we, there's a lot of other ones, you know, Netgear we got, you know, but this is for the price point. This wasn't that bad. Uh, so we got some reading material, a CD, some screws, and that's it. so we got the, here's the VPN. I'm going to take that out in a second. We got an Ethernet cable, probably cat, what is this, cat E5, cat 5E, I mean, probably, or cat 6, it could be cat 6, and this is probably the AC adapter. Yep, they see it that way. Okay, so we got a two prong, which is weird. Usually you see three prong, that way we can get a ground. But, okay, so we got a two prong there. And here we have the, the VPN. The, so, oh yeah. So you can put this on a, on a rack, which is what I'm gonna get. A mini rack like a small I'm talking about like you could I I, I don't want to put like I'm not gonna put too many things in there um, so you hook these bad boys up to the side and this is not a full-size uh, unit I like a, so you need these like really long ones in order to like get it to where it's supposed to be standard size so here we have um, a plastic bag and here's the Cisco. It's very nice. It's not that, uh, you know, fashion is not really a thing, but it, you know, looks nice for what it is. Uh, looks like uh, metal. Definitely metal. Helps for cooling. We got vents on the side here, vents on the side over here. No vents in the back, but we do have it. We do have the power switch and the AC the jack in there. On the side, we have a USB. Looks like a 2.0. Uh, don't have mm, probably for some diagnostic. It says USB 2. So here's USB number one. Okay. And we got 14, 14 gigabit ports. Okay. So we got 14 and two. So we got total 16, but four, uh, 14 LAN, two WAM. Okay. And these are all gigabit. Uh, and then we have the LEDs, power, VPN, DMZ, uh, um, DIAG, USB 1 and 2, the numbers, and that's it. And then we have some uh, mounting holes here, so in case you want to mount this to the wall or something. Uh, I probably won't do that, though. And a reset little butt, like, you have to actually put something in there to reset it. I don't, I don't really like this, like, being shown so much, like... Because anybody that, like, this is not really protected here. So anybody that gets fired can just, like, and they see that, they could just, like, go and put something in there, reset the whole freaking network, and forget about it. You'll be like, what the hell? But what you what you have to do in that point, once you finish configuring your your routers and, and, and or anything else you have, you save that file. You have, the, you have a backup feature. You save it. You put it in somewhere somewhere like on the cloud that we if anything happens you just download that file and it reconfigures the configuration file you pop that load that back in there and your your configuration is set again and that's about it um I'll, let, I'll i'll see if i do a video i mean i'm really busy right now i'll see if i do a video on on how the uh, vpn goes i have actually they have two of these actually um because the other one is going to go in the other office but the other office is only going to have um, one internet and that's because the other office is going to have 100 down and, and, uh, 40 up. So all I need is the down to be greater or equivalent to the up on this office. Cause this is where the server is going to be. This is where the files are going to be pulled to the other office. And when they save back, it's not going to be too much, uh, like, that's not gonna really matter too much when they when they push it back into the server. What really is important is when they pull the files from the server, and it's gonna be a lot of computers uh, computers pulling the 
files from the server. So hopefully this works. Please let it work. <laughs> VPNs are always a headache. Always a headache. Um, and that's it. And on to the next unboxing. I'll see you guys. Thank you. Rate, like, dislike, leave a comment. I always try to answer the comments 99.9% .9 of the time. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Or ladies. Peace.